Load the datum example file example data.tdm in order to follow this tutorial. Activate the analysis panel. From the analysis menu, statistics, choose the option descriptive statistics. In the descriptive statistics dialog under object to be analyzed, click on the button labeled dot 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 to the right of the channels, label and input field. Another dialog will appear named select channels. Use the button labeled X to delete any channels already in the list. Then expand the channel group named noise data and then drag and drop the channel noise2 to the channel list area in the select channels dialog. When done, click OK. On the characteristic values 1 tab, click the all off button and then in the mean value section, enable the checkbox labeled root mean square. The calculation will appear immediately in the result data section. Click on the tab labeled result storage and make sure the checkbox labeled store results in channels is not checked. Calculation of the RMS as well as all other calculations available from this dialog result in a single numeric value. The default is to add that result to the channel being analyzed as a new property. Click the calculate button and then the close button. Examine the properties for the channel Noise2 in the data portal. Under Custom Properties, you will see the RMS result saved under the property named Result Statistics Mean Values Square Mean. Note that the tilde character is used when creating the property name in order to create the property hierarchy. The results of all analysis functions in DATUM are either stored as properties or new channels. Note also that in the analysis window, a sort of log was written, indicating what calculation was performed, on what channel, the datum script function used to perform the calculation and the numerical result.